Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you a new integration feature we have in OneDrive for Business where we have the possibility to see SharePoint Online document libraries that are belonging to SharePoint sites we have access to. To show this access, I'm going to click from my one uh, my Office 365 homepage, I'm going to click on OneDrive icon. Yes. Once uh, OneDrive for Business is open yeah, on another tab, yeah, as you can see here, I started to receive the new user interface for OneDrive for Business, as you can see in this menu. But the important thing here is that I have different sites where I have access to. If I click on any of these sites, for instance, companion portal, what I'm going to see is just um, the document libraries I have in this site. Okay, in this case, I have um, five different uh, document libraries, so I have this kind of integration where I have the possibility to click on any of these document libraries. So let's click, for instance, on contacts. And as you can see here, I'm seeing the document library fully integrated in the OneDrive for Business user interface. What does it mean? From here, I can uh, create folders, I can create uh, online documents, uh, of course, I can create the link, I can load files from my local PC, or I can even configure a Microsoft Flow. And of course, I can sync using the OneDrive for Business sync client, I can sync any file, any folder I have in my document library. So let's, for instance, load a file to this document library, something I can do from OneDrive for Business. So I'm going to choose a local file that I have in my PC. Uh, let's choose just a not very big file. For instance, I can uh, select, where is it? Yeah, the Office 365 for the Press book, this one. I can open and load the file to the document library directly from Wonderful Business User Interface. As soon as the book is, so as soon as the file is uh, uploaded to the document library, I can select the file, and as you can see here, I have different actions in the doc, in the file actions bar. So I can do almost everything uh, with the file I can do in the regular document library. So I can open, open in the browser in this case because this is a PDF file. I can share, and then you are going to see, you are going to see the familiar sharing di dialog. You can copy a link. You can download the file. You can delete. You can move, copy to, rename. Again, you can create a flow or see your flows, and you can see, of course, the version history uh, for this file. Additionally to these things, I can see uh, the activity around the file. So I can see uh, yeah, what happened uh, with this file recently. As you can see here, I don't have the possibility to modify uh, metadata. For instance, it could be nice to modify the title, but as you can see, it's not possible. So even we have a um, very nice integration between document libraries uh, document, uh, we have a nice integration of SharePoint Online document libraries in OneDrive for Business. This integration is not full. What does it mean? For instance, I don't have features such as the ability to edit metadata in the details panel. I don't have uh, filtering options and so on. But by the way, the integration is quite nice and quite complete, and I like this integration. And that's all. Uh, I hope you have found this video interesting, and yeah, see you soon. Bye bye.